Varner, Group Managing Editor for TMCNet, coming to you from IT Expo East 2011 here in Miami. And joining me is Jorge Otero, Sales Manager for Latin America for Grandstream. Hey Jorge, how you doing? Hello Pat, thank you for, for having us. Yeah, welcome and uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming. No. So, um, Obviously, the, the South American market is really hot right now, but the first thing I want you to talk about is you've got a new initiative uh, for Grandstream. You're uh, breaking into uh, video, from what I understand. Yes. And uh, it's just, yeah, I see you have a, uh, a new device here. Uh, why don't you start off by telling me a little bit about this? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, we are, yeah, I'm in charge of uh, Latin America region for Grandstream. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, 2010 was an exciting year for us. Uh, with a lot of new products and um, still we're coming out with uh, more exciting news for the for our customers and um, uh, over the that last few months cool. we presented a few new models of our IP surveillance uh, product line. This uh -huh. is a GXV3615 uh -huh. IP camera which is uh, known as a cube camera. Okay. It's uh, commonly used in office space or residential uh -huh. and uh, we came out with two versions poe or wi-fi okay uh, versions which um, make it very handy easy to install and of course uh, we are always very price sensitive uh, to our customer needs so we we sure like always with granite stream we're going to hit the market uh, with a very attractive offer so uh -huh. far we're doing already excellent in, in Latin America, thanks to very good partners that we have in the region. Uh-huh, okay, great. And what are the, some of the applications um, for this camera? So, so th th something that we're bringing in with all of our surveillance products is that we are uh, bringing together the IP surveillance or the surveillance with the IP telephony. Uh -huh. So all our surveillance products have a SIP client and all the video surveillance professional level uh, capabilities for security protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so in this case, uh, this is a camera that is uh, almost plug and play and the, the, uh, with, the, with the right tools. Right. And uh, you can do uh, local or remote monitoring. We, you can have multiple users connected to it at the same time. Right. And you can uh, have um, different options to save on bandwidth, bandwidth usage. Mm -hmm. um, anything from five to thirty frames per second a range of uh, kilobytes uh, um, uh, data transfer that uh, really make it a very good option for uh, enterprise or residential uh, markets. Mm -hmm. So right. that's uh, very interesting. Right. Yeah, it is. And it's also sort of essential because video is becoming a really critical part of business communications right now. Definitely. I realize this probably, you know, it also has a very strong play in terms of, you know, for surveillance as well. Yeah. Um, both are really important to organizations. Um, and now that we've overcome a lot of the bandwidth constraints, you know, the exactly. networks are getting built out and much, much easier now to deploy this stuff and have it be reliable, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. Uh, a special focus of us is not only surveillance for video only, but uh, our IP telephony, uh, IP telephone segment is growing in both the regular desktop uh, for enterprise use mm -hmm. and also on the video uh, phones or multimedia phones as we like to call it now. Right. Um, and we are uh, becoming a really a, a significant player in the field with the video uh, telephone and multimedia phones that offer uh, all the features for uh, enterprise users and residential users for uh, IP telephony uh, in a, uh, with a great range of applications. Right, and obviously video conferencing is, you know, as we were just saying, is huge. Um, not only that, but also just, you know, one-to-one uh, -one or one-to-many uh, video broadcasting is also becoming a very important play uh, for, for enterprises and for small businesses, uh, small to medium-sized businesses as well. Um, getting back to uh, market growth, uh, you know, uh, down in South America and throughout Latin America, um, what countries right now is Grand, would you say Grandstream is seeing the most traction in? Uh, obviously, Brazil is a very important market for us, uh, but uh, you can name anything from Mexico down to Argentina and Chile. Uh, we have a very strong presence through the region thanks to partners uh, from U.S. Mm -hmm. and uh, local partners uh, covering a broad range of um, market, anything from ITSPs who are uh, uh, good fit for our products. Uh, the SMB market is also um, uh, 
very attractive for our flexibility, interoperability, and the variety of platforms that we support. Mm -hmm. uh, the video phone market has uh, had an amazing growth in, the, in 2010, and we expect that with our new 3175 mm -hmm. video phone or multimedia phone, uh, we will uh, uh, hit the market really strong in 2011. Okay. All right. Great. Now, with these, with these, uh, this new camera, is there only one model of this? Or are you going to come out with different models? Or uh, no, we have. All, we already have probably eight to uh, probably ten different models on oh, video okay. surveillance. So uh -huh. at right. this point, it's a you just roll them all out at once. Uh, no, we've been rolling out models uh, for about a year now. For about a year. Uh, okay, so, so this is just the latest addition to the line. Yeah, we're gonna have. Uh, uh, we will be announcing a new model that will really uh, complement the product line, and it is a uh, an outdoors waterproof IP66 certified mini dawn camera with IR cut. Oh, okay. Which uh, uh, all our customers have been asking for it. Like uh, we we wish we could uh, put it out earlier, but. Uh, the product uh, reach uh, is mature enough to go to the market in the next few weeks, I will say, uh -huh. and that will be uh, available for users to have a indoor, outdoor, and a video surveillance system with a software that is uh, rich in functionality for monitoring, for video recording uh, at no cost. Uh -huh. up to 36 cameras uh, Grand Stream is offering wow, uh, the G-Surf we call it the video management software that will uh, enable the organization to uh, basically only uh, invest on the terminals and have uh, flexibility on the software that they use. Mm -hmm. Okay great how many of these did you come out with initially uh, how many did you launch with do you remember? Uh, back when we started in our video surveillance segment we had three uh, box cameras um, Box cameras is what you see commonly on enclosures. Right. Uh, if it's outdoors or sitting on the office, they look a little uh, old already technology, but the right. powerful capabilities are why they are still uh, in that uh, format. Uh-huh. Uh, but we have a, a series of mini dom for indoors and now outdoors. Okay. We have the cube cameras as well, uh, and uh, we will be coming out with more products. A very important portion of it is the video encoders that are uh, the analog to IP converters mm -hmm. uh, that uh, allow legacy systems on video surveillance to turn into IP systems. And mm -hmm. probably you know, you saw a news that we published uh, during the week about a very uh, interesting case in Brazil uh, on how we turn a very uh, professional grade and uh, uh, robust analog system into IP with a small investment on our 35 GXV 3504 video encoder. Um, we turn uh, probably 38 cameras uh, system into a fully IP system with all the benefits that our technology is bringing and the functionality that is bringing. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, great. Yeah, it's an exciting uh, thing because obviously it gives allows you to reach uh, more new customers because you're adding that much more value to the to the product line um, But at the same time, it's also a great uh, value add for your existing customers. What are you seeing uh, in terms of? Um, uh, adoption, you know of these new products by your existing customer base. Oh, we're I think we Grand is that mo is that mostly what you're selling these cameras into is existing customer base or is it are you targeting new customers with this product oh, line we, as well? We, uh, the video surveillance is a very different market than telephony. Right. Uh, so uh, we are we Grand Stream is serving as a bridge to put these technologies together. Mm -hmm. I believe we are the only company that are offering uh, a zip line across the line in an, our video surveillance products. Mm -hmm. So you don't find that with anybody. So. Uh, an IP telephony system, a PBX, can interact with the surveillance system mm -hmm. if they are using our products seamlessly through our video phones. Right. And on the professional surveillance side, they can use the same products with the right tools for video management. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And, and on the so sales and training side, sales and training, is that um, when you're moving into video, is that kind of difficult to manage? Uh, it's, uh, it's a challenge because uh, our, our distribution channel is mainly on the telephony, but uh, we're making a, a very good uh, inroads in developing webinars and uh, 
and on-site training to our partners and to the new network of uh, distribution that we're building across the, uh, around the surveillance uh, market. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, great. Yep. Thanks very much for your time, Jorge. We've been talking to Jorge Otero, sales manager for Latin America for Grandstream, coming to you from IT Expo East here in Miami. Thanks again, Jorge, for your time. Thank you, Pat. Thank you for having us.